the sound that played is just me versus me okay and the song is that she knows by j cole that's the channel song i needed to save these cards because i said it's on live there's a person that loved texting you because i'm gonna get do the healthy ones out she, he or she loves texting and love when they get a text from you Somebody don't want to let you down, okay? And you don't want to let yourself down solo by future. It could be a Scorpio. Be ready at six. Someone is well-mannered. Okay, what else we got in here? I'm going to do the good cards here. Somebody's like, let me love you. Good love and protection. It's like affirmation. You want someone who loves you like that song. Like Mario was not playing. Like he changed his ways. You feel me? Good love and protection. Make me your selection. Somebody wants to go to the strip clubs and throw some ones. I'm hearing Kevin Hart, Cancer. It's only two of us. Okay. Hard times don't last. Someone needs to stop shopping on Shein, Fashion Nova, Blush. Get what you need and mix and match with your outfits so you can look good throughout the summer. Hard times don't last by J. Cole. If you're Aquarius, I don't know the sister sign of Aquarius, but you could call me that now. The sister sign of Cancer is Capricorn. Don't be holding back your love when good love come in. You spoil yourself. Somebody has a warlock that's doing like charm make, make like not charm makeup, but like charm magic. It's like you keep calling this person handsome. Like that's the only thing you looking at. Like they look, they tattoos. Like that person's doing glam magic. Just how women do glam magic to like there is some women who do like Aphrodite oil. <laughs> Confirmation. Somebody's gonna even fuck with you, even with your attitude. You attract good men and good women. I got a thing for you. Wonder where you've been at, who you've been with. If someone's projecting on you that you got hoes or something, or you doing something, they're literally admitting you that they're cheating on you. Even if y'all are talking and dating, that's a sign that someone's cheating. Because it's like, okay, especially if y'all made an agreement, and you know, no one can't, no one has to keep their promises because this is reality. People do break their promises. Because whoever this person is, they want you to be in the house doing a placement holder, keeping it like, you know, keeping it tight and right. And then this person literally looking out for the option. Yeah, with my right ear ringing. Like someone's looking for the option. If it ain't you, it's the other person. Okay? And one minute, you'll see a change once you start reading the book Atomic Habit or keeping your word of being confident, keeping your habit. Somebody's going to do just because flowers and just because I thought about you. There's a Leo that likes you because you give good head. Expressing love with reinsurance. Something about if you think that your ex didn't get karma or the people in your family, they're getting karma. And the karma is that they can't stop your success throughout this whole year. Okay. Take my advice, live a better life with uh this is a Scorpio that's probably trying to tell you like it's I'm hearing that song like you chose the pain, you chose to stay. Someone could have told you, um, if I'm so special, why I'm a, I'm a secret? Like I feel like if someone told you they got trust issues, they hurt from someone, they are just here you're you're gonna be their rebound. Okay? Mr. Postman song, somebody's waiting on someone text, girl, guy, stand up, go find something else to go read a book, go read about them. Go read the Bible. I recall being scared of the dark. Somebody's facing their fears and they couldn't wait to be 17 and grow up. And adulting been hard, but you got far. You got your own apartment and your car and you're proud because there's some people that's older than you that don't got that or got the mindset of you and making residual income. Now, this is my favorite part. This card right here. It says it is, it's, it's, it is, um, it is, it is so sad when you're settling. If you have to tell someone to buy you flowers, if you have to tell someone to, it's like, you got to look at that so unattractive. You're basically telling a man. It's almost like, would you want your daughter to go through that? Like, babying a man, like, it's almost like you're begging. Because I'm, I'm really heavily talking to the women. Because I feel like a lot of women go through this where our self-esteem is not where it's at. We allow too much. We do too much for someone who do the bare minimum. I mean, you you helping this man with vitamins, cooking and cleaning. And this person wants to deal with someone that they want to have a fun time with. They don't even want to commit, commit with you. And I'm getting this song, Can't Be What You Want Me To Be. 
But All Right by J. Cole. Only bad thing about Star that they burn up. Somebody family friends is going to tell you some bullshit and you really don't care. And it's like somebody going to try to be like, oh, when it's your friends or when it's your lover, you care. Yeah, but they never stressed me out or purposely used me or made me feel humiliated after I gave them money. Whoever this family is. Because I'm channeling these messages. Somebody likes McDonald's and somebody wants to stop eating McDonald's and you need to. Somebody's trying to figure out why they've been feeling bad. It's the fast food you keep eating. Because it's when you're settling, like, it's always going to be a karma. And you've been wondering, like, oh, my God, stop settling. So me, I saw me gave some good advice on someone who's entering a healthy relationship, marriage. And that's why I'm telling y'all in June, if y'all don't become a subscriber, my readings are going to become subscriber only. And that's it. Okay? It was fun booking. So if you want to book, you can. But I'm, I kid you not, like. It's sad when you're settling, telling someone to, like, even looking at my perception, it's like some of y'all don't see how beautiful you are. Somebody can have, like, body dysmorphia, and, you know, I know that's really hard. I don't even know how that feels, but sometimes I know, like, there'll be times where I'll be like, oh, I don't feel like I'm all that, and it's really our perception. It's really our perception. So do what you have to do to feel like you love yourself, okay? Okay. Because I'm seeing a clip from Dr. Miami where he was doing everything. And the girl looked it beautiful. And she wanted to do more stuff. But then she was going to make herself start looking bad. And he was like, you got to love yourself. You got to practice self-love. Someone needs a rose court. Someone needs to do some self-love oil. Someone needs to practice affirmation and meditate. Because you shouldn't, like, even with my Aquarius ex and my Capricorn, they set the standard, like, wanted to take me to Jamaica. Pie in the flights booking the hotels going on an adventure it's like someone when you with someone they want to be around you and i'm also learning something from my relationship i like yeah it was great until they cheated but it's the problem that i've seen is that some of y'all feel like y'all always gotta do something in order for somebody to receive something or do something nice and that's the problem that's the problem that like I was looking at certain things of patterns. Some of y'all need to look at y'all patterns. Like you, I don't know if a parent already told you this or a friend. Learn to get come to somebody with just your pers personality, like JT said, with the iPhone, and stop thinking that you gotta like do something for somebody for someone to like you. Because all it's gonna do is that they're gonna know that you wanna be their friend or be liked, and they're gonna play with you and play with you real bad. And they know you're a good person. And then years later, after high school, college, middle school, you grown up with kids and stuff, they're going to be like, oh, my God, I remember you was good friends. And I remember you was fake as hell. Like, no. Somebody needs to learn that you deserve someone to love you. Because in Mario, he was watching this girl get treated bad. And she was like, you, 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 you don't even know your worth, plus 99, ad tax. Um, everywhere you go, people stopping stare because you better than the show and it's like from your heads to your toes you out of control maybe you need a new piercing new tattoo you know a lot of men like to enchant their looks because they trying to get the ladies and they trying to also love they self because most of the part is for us to love they self and look attractive so they could feel better they didn't like that they was feeling low self-esteem they didn't like they thought they was looking at they self like oh i ain't all that or i'm not really handsome or whatever the case may be they wanted to make they self feel better. That's one thing a girl taught me. She said, one thing she loved about men is that they selfish. They prioritize their own needs. And the thing about women, we're so giving that we don't know how to be selfish or set limits and know when to don't overgive and overextend. Because somebody will literally have you looking like the boo-boo the fool if you keep thinking that every time you go to a man and he wants you to be like, what you doing for me? What you bring? You're dealing with somebody that if you keep dealing with a person like that, they're going to make you a single mother or a single father. You're going to have a toxic baby mama and a toxic baby daddy. One ex didn't want to listen and he literally called me later saying he has a toxic baby mama. And I was right. Because I've seen the generational curse and I've seen the toxic behavior of people not being confident, not knowing they worth, and settling. 